Hello and welcome to this video. It's a full gameplay of a hackering game where I literally went 11 and 0, proper carried the game so hard. Now I've played a lot of hackering games recently in season 6 and if you follow what I do you can pretty much snowball the game as well. So just copy what I do you'll be able to carry especially low reloads. So I start blue side, clear the jungle and I was going to go and do scout or crab. But it wasn't even up. So I head over to, so I saw uh, our mid laner died quite early, so I ghosted in and picked up the kill off that. And I saw Lee Sin come mid, so I decided just to go and clear, push the wave in. So I done my red buff, and I can either go B, but my health was okay to gank. And fuel was quite low, so I went in. If I had summoners I could probably pick up a kill, but I thought I've got a gold advantage so I'll go back and buy. So I picked up my jungle item and a longsword as well. So I'm looking at bot, I really do want to gank bot. Because I don't want them to snowball off if the rain gets ahead. So I picked up a kill on Vayne. Now with Hecarim you should really really be ganking bot a lot, especially at level 6. Now the reason for this is, it's pretty much a guaranteed kill, you got 3 person or 1 person. And it's, they're always going to be squishy as well. Hecarim has got good base damage off his R, E, Q, W. You can put out a whole a AOE combo on them. At this point in the game I'm quite ahead. Um, two kills up. And I'm leveled. I'm level 6. I think I'm on par with the mid laners. So from here I made a bit of a mistake. I forgot about the Malzahar's passive. But I did pick up a kill. Lee died as well. So they didn't really gain much. So whenever you can finish the jungle items, a huge power spike for most junglers as well. Now from here I'm just farming as quick as I can. Now red buff as well, so I'm gonna look to gank lanes. The Mazar has pretty hard to gank as well. So luckily I got away here as well. I didn't die in the whole time in this game. They ended up surrendering as well. So I pick up a sheen. Thinking no one can really burst me down apart from Mao's R. So I thought I'd go some damage items. I mean, Hecarim's ganks are quite good, but when he's got his ultimate, it's even better. So I was just waiting for it to come up before I do Drake as well. So when your ultimate's down, you can do Drake. It kind of saves you time. Go back and buy, help your team. That's another way you can actually snowball your team doing Drake, especially the first Drake. So Fiora went to gank her. So Fiora ran away though. So I'll, I'm pushing this lane. I'm try anytime you see a camp, clear it. Anytime you see a lane, push it in. I mean, there's a camp there. Right at this stage with Sheen, it's quite easy to clear with your Q. So I'll push this wave in. I'll push mid and top. So this is really how you get a gold advantage and an iron advantage. So reds come up. And you want to get be on your buffs as soon as possible, like take them as soon as possible. And now I buy a phage. So anytime you get at this stage in the game, you want to try and finish a really strong item. So I've got my ultimate, my ghost, my smite, everything. So it should be a guaranteed kill. So right now I'm unstoppable. Pretty much they need to start focusing me, otherwise I'm gonna run through the whole team. So I'm even stealing buffs now, they don't they're lacking vision. They're well behind. The team is starting to snowball as well. Ash is doing very well. I mean, Vayne's completely shut down. She'll get one shot anyway. Now I'm clearing camps. So Hecarim's quite good. You can run through the whole jungle quite quick, quite quick as well, especially with blue buff. So there you go. That's another triple kill. And then Drake come up as well. So they've got no chance to even contest this. Scuttle Crab is worth 70 gold as well. So always try and do that if you can. If it takes too long, it's not really worth it. It's better to help your lanes or do a quick two camps in the same time. So I push the lane, gone B. And right now, I've still got all my summoners and my ultimate up. So at this stage, you're well ahead. So I just one shot the vein there. I knew she wasn't even going to get away. And off that, they surrendered. So with Sheen as well, you can push towers very well. So, as well, stealing buffs. So, 
Hecarim is very strong in Modern Season 6. There's no way you can't pick or ban him. So if you do want to learn him, just watch this video and hopefully it helps. So, thanks for watching.